This is Cylindrical Motion 2, and what we're going to be discussing in this one is uh, another one of NASA's little programs, and it's actually an astronaut training program, and what they do is they take a airplane, I'm not exactly sure which kind, but uh, they take an airplane and they do uh, a parabolic uh, climb and, and uh, pi parabolic shape in the sky which results in a weightlessness feeling for approximately like 30 to 40 seconds and uh, I mean there's a lot of complications in doing this but uh, we can just explore maybe how they're doing this and then we can just kind of work our way um, along there so Let's just start off. Uh, first of all, we need to write out our equation because we know that this is a cylindrical motion because the way that this airplane is supposedly going to be moving is in this fashion. So you can just imagine that we're at either you know one of these peaks. And that's where you would achieve the weightlessness feeling. Okay, so first of all, let's write down our equations for uh, acceleration. Acceleration will equal V squared all over rho E to the N plus V dot ET. So, since we know that we're going at constant velocity of a thousand kilometers an hour, we know that v dot will equal zero. So we know that. So pretty much all the art in keeping us weightless for even just at the peak of one of these at one of these points um, to get us weightless we need to have a minimal velocity of what and that's what we're trying to solve for uh, or no sorry uh, a, a minimal radius or arch of what like what does the radius need to be how how does it how large will that radius be to give us the weightlessness feeling and this is in turn will actually um, help the pilots decide on how steep they will uh, do their pitch. So let's just determine that. We know that V dot is zero so we can just skip right on and we know that acceleration for this problem at one of those points will be V squared rho. Let me stop right here for a moment. What consists of weightlessness? At what point would you not feel any resistance to the ground? Well, realize that what forces you down to the ground is a 9.81 meters per second squared um, acceleration downwards. So, if the ground were moving at that acceleration, then we would not feel it, and we would essentially be feeling like we are weightless. So, if the acceleration were to equal 9.81, or if it were to equal gravity, then we would achieve weightlessness. So, we know that v squared all over rho must equal 9.81 meters a second squared. So all we have to do is we backtrack this into um, you know into whatever we would need. So first of all what is the V? Well V is equal to a thousand kilometers per one hour. And I just we can just break this down for us. Uh, one hour is 3,600 seconds, and also one kilometer 
is a thousand meters. And when you work out the math, you're going to get V will equal 277.78, let's say, meters a second. So the whole purpose of this was to bring it down to meters and seconds, which is exactly what we have in our acceleration, just to the left. So now we have our velocity, and we have our acceleration. So let's just plug it in. Nine point, or I mean, uh, two hundred and seventy-seven point seven eight squared, all over rho, will equal nine point eight one. And if we work that out, what we can do is we'll have two seventy-seven point seven eight squared all over 9.81 equals rho, that's just algebra for you, and that will equal 7,865. That's as accurate as we need to get. That's meters. So, if you want it in kilometers, that would be 7.865 kilometers. And that's that's the radius of the arch that they need to to create so that you'll get this weightlessness feeling at that one point. At that point.